uh, our fun, fun session of craziness and happiness and water. <laughs> uh, and we're going to do a couple quick introductions. And we will start with, uh, you know, we'll just go across the top. So we'll start with Smile. If you don't. Yeah, well, hi there, guys. Um, my name's Kat. I'll be playing a uh, gnome cleric, trickster cleric, called Doxy. And, well, yeah, we'll see how that works out. Awesome, awesome. And then y you can you can speak for your, this part there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can definitely speak for this part. All right, so I am Ryan, uh, at Beleg Maraden on Twitter and Twitch. Uh... I'm going to be playing my gnome barbarian named Schmebulok, who only says Schmebulok. And Kat is going to be translating for me. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. Right. <laughs> okay. And next we have uh, Crit Charisma. Oh, you're, yeah. I've done, I've done this before. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Kaya. I'm going to be playing Nova, the tabaxi fighter, who says more things than Schmebula, I think. We'll find out. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's debatable. <laughs> and finally, we've got uh, our last player, Silent. Uh, I'm Mike. I'm Silent Chariot. I'll be playing Malkovic, the bugbear bar barbarian. Nice. And I am your dungeon master, Zynar. Um, I've never done this before. Okay, I've done this a lot, actually. Um, <laughs> and we're just going to have some fun. It's a homebrew setting, so uh, don't expect anything uh, fantastic. Okay, it is actually kind of fantastic, but don't expect anything uh, normal, necessarily. So I'll paint a quick picture of the setting. Uh, the world is destroyed. It is basically nothing but floating islands loosely connected together to a core through magic because it's fantasy. Why not? Uh, there are very few boats. There are more airships. Water magically appears and then still falls from the island down to the core and still magically appears back on the island to keep flowing. So, you know, fun stuff like that. This is a small, somewhat small island. It's very temperate. There's some, uh, well, yeah, kind of temperate. There is a small, I want to say, uh, like, uh, tourist-like attraction. Um, there is this creature called a uh, stink rat, which is like a rainbow-furred possum that leaves off a musky smell. That's one of the key uh, creatures in this I on this island. But recently, there has been some poisoning of the water, it seems like, because... The stinker it was dying off uh, very sick. They were very sickly. And now the heroes that went to go find the problem never came back. Yes, we did not. <laughs> we became part of the ship, a part of the crew. <laughs> well, you, you, yeah. Well, not part of in that sense. You took over. So. Now, our unlikely heroes, only I say unlikely because, I'm not saying that you guys were all second string, but <laughs> with the fact that there are two barbarians and a fighter, it was the anger management problem that <laughs> didn't mean you were the highlight of the, uh, uh, you know, the hero squad, we'll call it that way. You know, and a trickster cleric. Yeah, you guys were troublemakers more than, you know, <laughs> which is fine. Absolutely fine. But the other heroes have been missing for several days. And now it has come upon you to find out what's going on. Because the water is starting to taste awfully funny. Like, not drinkable, awfully funny. And that's where we shall begin. Maybe luck. <laughs> I know yeah, I, I mostly know. drink milk as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. 
Um, let's see here. Shmabulok. <laughs> well, don't ask me. I don't know what to do about it. Shmabulok. <laughs> well, that's not nice. Shmabulok. <laughs> All right. Now that there are children present, stop. Shmabulok. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Lean over to, I'll, I'll lean over to kitchen. What did he say? <laughs> He's just complained. Don't mind him. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Well, the mayor, um, who is a, a decently built female dwarf, and she's concerned that the other party is missing, and has tasked you to find why first why they're gone. Uh, because, well, they kind of need to know if <laughs> if they need to find new heroes, a.k.a. kind of promote you all to the local hero squad, um, a.k.a. the go-to people. And uh, also, because people are starting to freak out a little bit. So, so were we summoned? You were... It, well, there was a broad summoning... <laughs> Okay. So again, it's it's um, they didn't Broad. they didn't reach out to you specifically because again, y- you lead the way you lead the charge. Traditionally, more than with uh, my axe. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so you see this typical no, uh, typical garden no, dressed in blue top, <laughs> red bottoms, the red hat. <laughs> Big, fluffy, white beard, carrying this great axe, and he looks buff. He's got gauntlets on. He looks buff, and he's just walking up to the mayor with his chest all puffed out. Shmebulot. Does he have like flowers and stuff in his beard too? Yes, most definitely. <laughs> awesome. When he goes into a rage, his eyes go like eight different ways. <laughs> oh no! And when he comes out of his rage, he uh, vomit. Uh, <laughs> Very awesome. <laughs> Protect him at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> I I love him. Um. <laughs> Are we introducing our characters? Yeah. What's going on? Oh. Well, kind of. Uh, you know, descriptions and such. There's there's a couple other individuals there too, but uh. They're kind of new. You've been here for at least a few months. All of you have been here at least a few months. But go ahead. I guess Noah would walk in. Uh, She's about 5'10", tabaxi. She has all white fur and two different colored eyes. One's green, one's blue. Um, And uh, she looks at Shmebulok and goes, And you also have my axe. As she is also really... A giant great axe. Nice. And a big old fluffy tail that flicks every once in a while. Shmebulok. <laughs> Knocks his hat off. Oh! Shmebulok. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. I'm so sorry. Starts petting it. <laughs> Knocks it off again. Uh, as you see me wa- uh, walking up to the group, I was uh, drinking some water, and I uh, angrily, angrily throw the cup away, and you know that tastes funny. Uh, also carrying uh, my great axe over my shoulder, as you see a shirtless bugbear uh, coming towards the group. Well, you just see a little gnome sitting next to Shmebulok, like wearing like colorful pants and a colorful little vest, just sitting there talking. Shmebulok turns to her and goes, Shmebulok, Shmebulok, and points over to the back and Shmebulok at his hat. Yeah, and I, it, it looks real nice. Just, just, just leave it like that. It's okay. Shmebulok. Well, next time. I, I promise you we'll, we'll do it next time, okay? Just just not today. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Um, 
by the way, when you did that, did you just like look 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 him straight in the eye and just like knock it off like a cat would? <laughs> yes. Okay. Of course I did. Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> and then I went, "Oh, it's just an accident." Knocks it off again. <laughs> Perfect. I I say this water is very disgusting as I stick my paw in it and lick it and then push the glass slowly off the table. <laughs> Yeah, I would have thrown you my. You are definitely uh, a cat owner. I'm not <laughs> actually. I'm allergic. Yeah, I would have thrown my cup in like a random direction. Once I was there, I I would have thrown it, uh, not paying attention to where to where I was throwing it. Well, um, the mayor, who's just like looking at you all, at not in a like a. Uh, wanting way or a happy way but in a this is what I got way <laughs> and she looks at you and well um, I, I'm happy you came out um, we could really use your assistance uh, at this time and we don't know what happened to the other group uh, their their safety of course is a concern as well as the safety of our of our city and our people. So if you could find the source of what's causing this issue with our water, uh, we would be in your debt and very grateful uh, for your help. Shmebby lock. Yeah, yeah, I'm in too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we're here for. Well, let's go. Let's do this. <clears throat> And the the other, I use air quotes in this, uh, adventurers, uh, kind of were just looking at you all. They're they're not nearly as built, <laughs> kind of a group, you know, as you are, and or they don't even really look as experienced. They look decently green, and um, uh, and they're just they just stand back and kind of take a few steps back, and you know, well they're like, well if, if you need any extra help, uh, just let us know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Shmebulok. <laughs> Who needs yeah, another place? I go, this job is too, uh, too scary for you. You wouldn't be able to handle it. Shmebulok. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're, that's, that's great. Mm-hmm. And they, <laughs> they, they just kind of back away and that's it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, so where are you headed? Oh, actually, as you're um, heading out of the uh, the town hall, this sweet little gnome old lady walks up, and uh, it's Nana Gnome. She nobody knows her name because she's so old; she doesn't even know her name. <laughs> oh, no. And um, uh, and she walks up to you. She's like. I'm so sorry that you have to do this. It's dangerous if the other people haven't come back. I really, really want you all to be okay. You're looking kind of tired. You should have my one of my tonics. <laughs> so Shmebula, he's like, he knows Nana. He's a gnome. And he immediately hides behind uh Cat, what was your character's name again? <laughs> Doxy. Doxy. And like, Shmebulok, Shmebulok, Shmebulok. Just, it's okay. She's not going to do anything. We haven't done anything. Not this time. Okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dear. You don't like my tonics. That's, that's okay. I, I have, I have done something better for you. And she pulls Nana. up like a pan of brownies. <laughs> Did you, put, did you put did you put catnip in this again? I was strung out for a week the last time we did this. Well, I found a way to bake my tonic instead of using it as a drink, and I know it's so much better this way. Did, did you try it yourself? <laughs> and it's a small. It's know. like there's four pieces. It's like a small little thing. It's there's four four separate little brownies. Maybe like sees the brownies and starts charging. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Remember the last God. time we ate one of our brownies. Just, you know, take it easy. 
I'll take one and eat it. Um, do you just like uh, chomp down, take you know, like a huge bite, or shove it all in yeah, your mouth? Just... It smells pretty good. You take a bite; it does not taste pretty good. <laughs> it tastes like <laughs> it tastes like a solid version of her tonic. <laughs> With a little bit of sugar, <laughs> but a little too much flour, maybe. <laughs> so it's kind of gritty and dry. That bad, is it? <laughs> maybe like like looking at you, like trying to gauge your reaction. <laughs> I will steal myself and go. Shh, maybe luck. This is the best thing Shmebula. I've ever tasted in my life. Maybe luck. You have to try it. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, chat. There's chocolate in there. It's just hard to taste chocolate. Like, it's a first, like, I can taste it right away. Oh, wait, no, no. That's how it goes. I'll this just take my wide skin and, like, flush it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chocolate and wine. That's, uh, you know, a girl's favorite dream. Uh, Do you feel okay still? I mean, we'll find out in a couple hours, I'm sure. You don't eat the whole thing? I'll eat it, yeah. Oh, okay. I I will, I will knowing that Shmebulok has been, like, trying to gauge my reaction, I will try to make it appear as if it's the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. As I slowly oh, eat it. Like, oh, like those, like those commercials where you know that it, it tastes like garbage, but those... Yeah. Like, I've had that cereal. I'm pretty sure it's terrible. That actor's a really good actor. <laughs> so if you're going to do that, you need to make either a constitution roll, a save, basically, or a deception roll. Your choice. Or? Uh, I mean, my con is way better than my deception. <laughs> Don't worry. My inside is terrible. <laughs> yep. um, a con save? Yep. 16. Okay, you you stomach it without really, yeah. There, it, it's fine. It, it it it's fine. I'm like massaging <laughs> my throat to try to swallow it. <laughs> Pet owners everywhere always know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it yeah it's it you're not like you don't wince or you don't like instantly throw it up kind of a thing. You're just you eat it. You're like and you drink the wine. You're like that's so much better now. <laughs> love it thanks nana <laughs> she means well she always does she does no every grandmother always means well 90 percent of the time it doesn't taste well though <laughs> does everyone else eat one of the brownies yeah i'll try one shmabula okay. just shoves it in his face <laughs> and comes back there's like rings of chocolate <laughs> around his face <clears throat> so it tastes pretty good on the first couple chews and no <laughs> but you already swallowed, and it's like, yeah. I block out that, 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 that. Only kind of tasted it before it went down, so. But then slowly you see his face get this horrid look of. That, that, after, that aftertaste is not so good. Yeah. It tastes yeah, like it echinacea. Like heaving heavily. Like, oh, um, it's not bad that you're going to, you know, it's just, yeah. It's just like I said, it's a little gritty and dry, and the chocolate is not enough. <laughs> it was fudge coated; it'd be a lot better, <laughs> or something. But yeah, it's like so for those that aren't as that may not be as old as I am. Uh, when uh, healthy organic was like brand new in the world, mm. kind of mm -hmm. like that. You know, the gluten free everything. Yeah, and it just, yeah. Does it just taste like echinacea? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like vitamins, straight up vitamins. Well, not, it doesn't have a vitamin taste. It has more of a, um, oh, a slightly rotted, uh, like flowery taste. Not like flower, the, um, like, uh, or flower lies in like petal, like flower petals. Oh. Yeah. Like like oh, like it was yeah, infused with potpourri. <laughs> yeah, and it probably was infused with potpourri. <laughs> and you are you missing the potpourri, potpourri from the bathroom? You, you hope it was potpourri. 
It was but, catnip. But if you eat the brown, if you everyone eats the brownies, get does get an advantage <gasps> on a Constitution save later in the game, if Ooh. needed. So it's all good stuff. <laughs> But you just gotta... Because it steals us and everything else we're going <laughs> to eat is going to be not that bad. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's trying to save you from the poison water. She's doing what she can. <laughs> Thanks, Nana. <laughs> you know? Rough... Maybe may be a lot. She may be a lot. It's like that scratchy sweater that she'll make, but it'll keep you warm, but it's very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want it on bare skin <laughs> ever. I'll just like rub my head on hers and kind of purr a little bit. Thanks, Nana. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, fine, sweetie. Thank you, I'm, Nana. I'm just so happy that you are going to help. We need it and you're so good. <laughs> well, oh, whatever Nana. you need, Nana. Now you all go be safe. We won't worry about you. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Mebulok starts walking away. He has no idea. He's just like, he's going to save for Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the brownies safe. Oh, the brownies are gone. You guys ate them. You know, that's a... She's the brownie maker on... safe. There we go. She's going to work on her next concoction. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's pudding. <laughs> Ooh. How can grandma ruin the pudding? No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ooh. Put salt instead of sugar in it. Yeah, gotta chew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's curdled. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's not like solid, but just enough solid. That... Yeah. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. But wow. it's magical and it's imbued with herbs and things to protect you. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll take off after uh, Shmebulok and I'll go, Slazenger, hold up. <laughs> I try to figure out different words to call them. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> okay. You're all headed off um, into the woods as, or actually away from the town, which there's like uh, a grassland uh, a bit before you uh, get to the uh, the wooded areas. And you can tell already that the land itself is looking a little bit, uh, I don't want to know if I, if I can call it, um, yeah. It, like it's withered a little bit, wilting is a better word for it. It's like it's all wilting. Hmm. Like poisoned. It seems like it. Yeah. Maybe luck. Hmm. Yeah, it looks kind of wrong, doesn't it? Maybe luck. Well, there's no need to call them ugly. All right, they're doing their best. <laughs> Happy it's okay. <laughs> um, does there seem to be? Is it like the whole place seems like it's poisoned, or is there like a, a direct path of what looks like? So uh, it gets worse the effect. closer you get to the river. Okay. Further from the river, it's, it still looks pretty good. Okay. Let's seems like the funny. river's where it's bad. It's funny watching the same thought process. You cut out there. From the right? last game. It's funny watching the same thought process happen again. <laughs> well, you game. know, great minds. You know, great minds. <laughs> anyway. We're all doing our best. <laughs> Let's look to the group. Perhaps the, the river? Should we try to follow the river to a source? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's go. I mean, I personally Maybe don't want to hit the water. That's cool. I don't walk away from the water. Water. Eh. Eh. Nope. Don't like it. <laughs> the hackles are kind of standing up a little bit. Uh, okay. Like 
<laughs> no, there is. I had to I have to interrupt chat here. There is no van down by the river. There could oh, be a, a wagon or a coach, but no van. <laughs> um, there was an airship. Was that was up by the mountain. That wasn't down by the yeah, river. Right. <laughs> Abandoned boat, yes, down there. <laughs> um, so as you're uh, walking, like you pass the grassland and into the forest, as you're walking by the river, um, it's kind of a creepy, uneasy feeling. You know, it's, even though it's broad daylight and stuff, because it's all... Things are wilting, and, you know, it's almost like if you look further out, it's like fall, and then it comes in, and it's like dying, like wilting. So even the tree bark is starting to look sickly, you know, on the trees themselves. I go over and take a closer look at the bark. Awesome. Yeah, I will as well. See some things weird with it. Well, it obviously is weird, but yeah. You know, I mean, the uh, the how the so- I want to see how the soil is around the tree. Okay. Um. Oh, um. Hold on, chat real quick. Actually, uh, so I have a chart for enchantments for items. <laughs> it's a random chart. It adds to, uh, like you can roll. They, depending on the item, will depend on whether it like increases armor class or to hit or to damage, or other enchantments, even potentially curses. There's there's those in the the chart as well. So for those that are unfamiliar with it, I'm pulling the chart from uh, an old, older D and D book from the Diablery, when Diablo two books were out. They have a wonderful percentile chart for adding enchantments, either. They have what's called a suffix and prefix, so there's a lot of things that can be added to items. <laughs> and it could be any item. You want to enchant their boots? Enchant their boots. You want to enchant their, <laughs> you know, anything. It's all fine. It's all good. Um, to, to provide that chart, I might do it a little bit later. I might modify it and do it later, but it's a big chart. <laughs> um... So as you're checking the the dirt itself, the soil itself doesn't really seem uh like different. It it looks kind of the same. Uh and I think that uh it's um like I'm trying to think of like would you would you like taste it and everything too or just like feel it and smell it and no, I would taste it. Okay. So, it does taste a little off. Um, and, you know, it, it's... But it smells kind of okay. Like, the, the whole wilting and the... The... You know, the... Everything. It, it does kind of match that feel. But there's something else to it. But it's not really potent. So it would be definitely, it's definitely coming from the water, but it's starting to per, it's just permeating out as the water keeps flowing and the soil absorbs the water. It's just starting to go out further and further and the roots that, uh, you know, from the trees and the plants are drinking it up. Uh, after you see me just sticking through the dirt, I throw it and I go, dirt tastes funny. <laughs> Well, it usually does taste funny because that's because you don't eat it, so you know. <laughs> but yeah, maybe a lot, or maybe a lot. <laughs> you smell where? Where the smell? What smell? Smell the water? Is that what you want to say? Maybe a lot. Yeah. Okay. Donate. Right. There was a donation to enchant Smebulox armor. Ooh. I am not wearing armor. So it would be gauntlets then. They're already enchanted. They're over strength. Oh, you're so you're not wearing Maybe any my armor. my tunic, my blue tunic. Maybe the red hat. The red hat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can enchant the hat. <laughs> okay. So, let's have chat roll. Can chat roll for us? 
Because we need to roll a d60. If anybody knows how to do that. Usually with Google, that helps. <laughs> Ice roller, one d6. And then, chat, do we want a prefix or a suffix? A.K.A., you know, because once we have a, if we have one, we can't do it again. So if you get a prefix, we can't get another prefix. If you get a suffix, we can't get another suffix. But that means we can have two enchantments per item. No, no limits on that, people. I see suffix. That's good. Need that D60 roll still. Help us out. <laughs> do me right, chat. Do me right. 19. Okay. 19 reduces damage taken. So we need to roll another D20. Oh, there's a hold up. I like to get chat involved in all this stuff because why even why even have something structured? <laughs> Let's make this random. And we got a seventeen. So it um so it's your head is of protection. You take two less damage from each attack. Nice. Have you lock. It's <laughs> unstoppable now. <laughs> Turns towards the, the back. Maybe a lot. <laughs> yeah, your hat is lovely. So yeah, the the um, yeah, this weird water stuff seems to be, you know, enchanted and it's changing things about you and your things. As you were brushing against the trees with your hat and stuff, all of a sudden, you don't feel it getting hit as much anymore. <laughs> So, uh, is that a plus two, just like, so, minus two to damage? It's a minus two to damage that you take. All right. So, every time, anytime you take damage, it's minus two. Um, could I take a walk out into the river? Into the river? On top of it. On top of the river. You can, if you have a way to walk on top of a river. <laughs> I do. I have a ring of water walking. Awesome. That's awesome. Because it made sense that if I'm a cat, I don't want to be in the water. <laughs> perfect. That is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'd like to kind of take a walk out towards like the middle and just see if I can see like any strange uh, sediments uh, floating underneath me or anything that might be trapped in the river that might be polluting it. Um, you don't see any sediment of any kind, but you do see that the fish are being acting weird. You know, animals like in the bugs on the water that okay. usually skim across the water and stuff like that. The flies, it's they're very lethargic. Hmm. Almost, almost like, like yeah, like lazy more than anything else. And the fish are not really swimming very well. They're just kind of flapping a little bit and then just moving with the water. Can I try to bat one onto the shore with my axe? <laughs> sure, let's swing for it. Come on. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Miss, probably. Seven. <laughs> okay, so um, the people on the shore are splashed by water. <laughs> Because you are swinging a great axe <laughs> as like a golf club. So that's a big surface area that you're uh, hitting water with. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Mm -hmm. So Schmabulok is highly um, superstitious. He is flipping out that you are walking on the water. He is hiding behind trees. <laughs> Schmabulok. <laughs> <laughs> I like just try to make myself appear like a god. <laughs> anyway, okay, so also getting back to the, the tree bark. Yes. Getting back yep. to the tree bark and such like that. As you're <laughs> examining it, do you um, have any spells or abilities spe specifically that you want to use? or? No, I don't. I just wanted to look at the bark. So it's it's a little more brittle to touch. Um, So it, like fall, it literally falls apart a little bit. You know, you just like you touch it and just kind of it's still moist and uh like 
like it's rotting, like that kind of it, that kind of feel. It's it's like rotting bark on a tree that may have been fall that may have felled, and it. But it's the tree's not dead yet, but the bark seems to be kind of dying. Okay. Uh, I ask if the tree also tastes funny. <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't eaten it. <laughs> And I'm not gonna, but if you want to, there, please, just do it. Uh, and I'll hand you the bark. I uh, take a little piece of the bark and try eating it. Um, yeah, there, there's a definite rot taste in it. Um, like it was a tree that was laying in the forest for, you know, a dead tree laying in the forest, kind of a rot. Um, but it's, uh, the difference is that, you know, like I said, it's still alive and, it's just, uh, so, but it, like, the texture is more of the, uh, the rotted bark versus the flavor, because you, obviously at this point, I'm going to assume your character knows bark taste, like, mm-hmm. and such, and, but the flavor is still more like a living tree's bark, you know, except for the, it's a little funny, there's a little bit of a, a, a funny taste to it you can't place, just like the, just like the dirt. You can taste that like little funny flavor that that was in the dirt too. And you know what? Because your character has had water recently, you can also taste that same flavor in the water. I go. The, the tree tastes like the dirt. It, it, it tastes alive, but it tastes, still tastes funny. Okay, so what you're saying is the tree is dying, like everything else around here. Yes. So that's. Okay, still the water. Shmebulok, what are you doing behind the tree? Shmebulok! Shmebulok! It's pretty short. You know, you know there's magic, right? Shmebulok. See, that's probably what that is. So, just come out of the tree. He just kind of like slowly. How, how, how But he's smart. staying close. How smart is Shmebulok? <laughs> well, Shmebulok actually has an intelligence of 12. Because he's a rock gnome, and that's a plus. Okay, so your character's educated. What about your wisdom? He's got a wisdom of thirteen. Okay, so, so it is basically mostly superstition. Because if if your character was a little bit on not the bright side, it'd be like maybe just maybe Altabaxes can walk on water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's more superstition. Okay. I'm just making sure it's one of those things I just wanted to, you know, because I'm like, well, because that could be funny down the road. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe looks actually smarter than Doxy when it comes to intelligence. Just saying. It's definitely a lot wiser than Nova. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, normally the, the way I usually play is intelligence is um, how you retain information from learning and wisdom is how your common sense is. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, I'm good with that. That's yep, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and that's how, that's my interpretation in, in, a, in broad strokes. So, you know, uh, but, you know, so, yeah, Shmebulok is, you know, can retain good information. So it is just superstition. It's belief. So, which is still good. <laughs> do you carry, okay, since you're superstitious, do you carry any sort of totems or anything that is, like, for protection or making you feel good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my axe. Okay. Okay, I'm so. like I'm like cradling it and like rubbing it as I'm coming out from the trees. Shmebulok. <laughs> Does your axe have a name? Shmebulok. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, does your character actually have have assigned a name for your axe? Yes, this one is going to be John. Okay. That's good to know. That adds that adds to character. I'm sure chat's yeah. gonna love it too. You you can also put John away. I'm pretty sure you don't need it. Once she's back out of the water, we we'll just ask her how she did it, just to make sure you're okay with it. It's gonna be fine. Happy luck. So, are you gonna try to um, golf for fish again? <laughs> uh, you know what? Why not? Awesome. <laughs> Let's try the same dice again. <laughs> That's much better. Uh, 22. Oh, yeah, God, yeah. So, unlike before, it was just like a, the axe slapping water. <laughs> <laughs> this time it seemed like the axe cut through the water and scooped the fish out. 
and flung it to the shore. Almost no water splash, that kind of stuff. Just beautiful. Ten, ten point, no splash. Yep. Perfect dive. <laughs> Maybe Lock's going to try and catch it. Okay. <laughs> Shmebby Lock, you... Shmebby Lock. And then I'll... <laughs> What do, what do you want me to roll? Um, that would obviously be something to do with agility of some dex. kind. So that'd be have to be some sort of dex. Uh, sleight of hand or acrobatic? Um, or just a straight dex roll? Well, do you have either of those? Are you proficient in no. either of those? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so just... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just, uh... Four. <laughs> So, well, because you were just cradling your axe, and you try to just, uh, you know, <laughs> and you miss. <laughs> it's not like it hits you or anything. It just, it just, you just miss because you were, you were busy with John. I'll, uh, I'll walk out. Uh, I'll walk from from the water and just go. I, so the fish are, um, they're very uh, sleepy. It seems. <laughs> I was trying to see if she was smart enough to use lethargic. Sure, she's smart enough to use a lethargic. They're really lethargic and apathetic out there. I figured I would at least hit it over and you guys could take a look at it, even though now it's dying even more. Um, well, looking at the fish now, is it flopping around or is it still lethargic, like being out of the water? It's not flopping as it should for survival. It's just kind of, you know, flopping. Uh, just not okay. really doing a lot. <laughs> Not knowing what lethargic means, I go, the fish are sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. The fish that's, are sleepy. That's what you meant, yeah. <laughs> sleepy fish. Um, so what we're doing with it? Are we going to cut it open? Do we? Well, we're not going to eat it. I would definitely not eat it. Uh, yeah. It's coming out of the water and everything out of the water is bad. So I, visibly, I visibly frown. And when you say eat it, I look at Rocket. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. Um, definitely, uh, definitely coming from the river, though. I think. What do you guys think? Something it's definitely yeah, coming it's from def the water. Yeah, says. it is the water. I'm pretty sure because it's gotten into the soil and everything. That's why everything's dying. I mean, the trees and stuff are not dead yet, but yeah, they're not far from it. This could be really weird. Can I smell the fish to see if it smells <laughs> anything outside of fish? Oh, so you sniff the fish, <laughs> and it doesn't smell as fishy as it should. It almost smells pretty. What? Like a pleasant smell. Well, I'm a cat. Fish already smells pretty pleasant to me, but... Maybe it Why does this smell like perfume? Like what? Give here. The fish smell like... Let, let me have it. Well, okay. It, that's actually not as bad as I thought. It does not smell of fish. Weirdly enough. Can I make a medicine check on the fish? <laughs> God, chat. Pumpkin, Pumpkin spice, spice fish? fish. No. <laughs> 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 Wrong season. <laughs> Um, it it's fall. it's shamrock it's, fish at this point. Shamrock. Okay, Ooh, come on, minty fish. <laughs> minty fish, get it right, Rana. sure. Why not? We can. We, it's minty. The fish is minty. It has a minty smell to it. Sure. Mm. It smells like a shamrock friend. steak from McDonald's. <laughs> fish friend, not food. <laughs> so <laughs> you're, I'm sorry, you were checking the. Yes, that's a fifteen on the fish checking. Um, and what were you looking for? What were you trying to look for in particular, or just, just... what's wrong with? If I could, you know, estimate what's wrong with it. So other than it's smelling funny. Nice. We have somebody that's going to get a nat twenty. Fantastic. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay, so the <laughs> um, checking out the fish. It's almost like if the fish was drugged. Okay. You well, know, as far as as far as how it's kind of not, it's not trying hard to get back into the water. It's just kind of, you know, 
doing its thing. That's all you can think of. It's like it's almost like if it was drugged. Yeah, so well, it, it looks like the fish is high on something. It's definitely not like behaving like a normal fish. So like when Nana then... put the catnip in the brownies that one time? <laughs> yes. Like that one. No, yeah, but that, that yeah, makes you hyper, exactly. right? <laughs> not literally like No, back. you literally just sit there like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a great description of what that fish is. Hmm. Yep, might be is like, there like, a fish oh. nip? I don't think there is. Fish nip. A fish nip. Fish nip. Yeah. <laughs> a fish nip. I think that's what. Shmebula like pulls on your 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 clothes and like starts pointing up river. Shmebula. Shmebula. What? Okay, Shmebula. I'll look up river. Do you, you know maybe we should head further up the river yeah i almost feel like like if they're drugged then that means somebody's dumping it yeah well mm. it has to come from somewhere so we might as well go to the source yeah oh no i'm in i'm okay. going to walk of the river yeah i'll tr yeah i was like should i put the fish back in is it dead by this point is it like <laughs> well no it's not dead i don't do I, have a, I don't have any fresh water on me. I feel bad like pushing it back into the poisoned water, but at least I'll be able to breathe for a little bit. That, that's true. Well, you've never, you haven't seen any like dead fish floating on the water at all yet. Yeah, it doesn't so. seem to harm them. <laughs> <laughs> While she's the doing that, I walk over and just kick it into the river. <laughs> well, you can't just cats can't just throw it. They gotta play it into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes kick. later, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we don't have time for this. Kick. Uh, all right, <laughs> gets, you're 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 moving it slightly by pawing it, and then he gets kicked into the water. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Killjoy. I know, Killjoy. I know I'm down it today, but we have stuff to do. <laughs> all right, you're right. Let's go. Could something be living in the water that's causing this? That would be interesting. Ooh. Um, if it was something that's living in the water, it's something that's not native or natural to the island. You know that much. Nothing that's from this island could be doing that. Mabula. You're doing this. <laughs> Mabula. <laughs> I knew it. You're the villain. <laughs> Ooh. Mabula. Nobody saw that one I'm coming. Just, <laughs> I'm just messing. I'll flick him with my tail again. He holds onto his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe don't, because he's still scared of you walking on water. Could you explain to him how that worked? Because otherwise, you know. Absolutely. I'll kneel down, look him dead in the eye. I'm a god. And then I'll walk away. Fabulous! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I start running upstream. <laughs> well, thanks for that. <laughs> Now you have to go get him because I'm not going to run after him. Oh, <laughs> dang. You did this. You go. <laughs> All right. I'm only part god. <laughs> <laughs> I've been chosen by the ancients. There have been statues built to me for centuries. <laughs> oh, God. If I run into it, it's going to be nuts. <laughs> 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 Um, okay, so <laughs> as you move upstream, you do find that, uh, there's this old, looks like logging building. Has a water wheel that's spinning and doors are open. <laughs> oh, look, the doors are open. Breaking into that's there, not gonna be fun. There's, um... There's skeletons on the ground, oh. broken. Mm. I don't spears. think we should go in there at all. <laughs> Let's go in there. <laughs> That's yeah. terrible, dangerous. I gotta see what's inside. Points at Nova and so Schmebula. I know, curiosity <laughs> might kill me, but at least I got another life. <laughs> <laughs> Only one? You don't know what kind of life I've had. I'm, I've kind of burned through some. 
Cool. Your um, early age, you know, the experimental phase. Yeah, I really. Fun, yeah. It took me a it took me a while to learn the same lesson. Um. Okay, so who's going first? I guess I can. Shmebula Every, goes first. Well, I can sneak in if you want me to. Everyone's like, maybe we should, and then Shmebula just goes in. <laughs> I I follow. Grab and hold it, John. <laughs> I should. No. Do the two barbarians run in? Oh yeah, yeah. they're they're already. <laughs> you're all debating, and the they just go in. <laughs> we we'll look at each other. And just... <laughs> well, at least at least for us going down first so you know the upside of this so, i'll just look over and be like <laughs> we should probably go <laughs> yeah you're right no you're right you're right i like that That's pause good. you know like they're just moving moving you're just still yeah uh... <laughs> you could say they died exactly, valiantly Jack. exactly <laughs> Chad. collect their winnings for their families yeah they died Translation. like they yeah. Translation of my Schmebulock. Leroy and Jenkins. <laughs> Devil Leroy. <clears throat> awesome. So the two of you walk in first, obviously. Our, oh, our uh, headstrong barbarians. And on the inside, there are um, still... Now they're getting kind of... Well, no, they're still, they're still tanning. There's some stink rat pelts on the inside. <clears throat> um... And it looks like they were being, uh, this place was being used to skin and prep stink rats for, uh, like their fur and such. But it does look kind of pre-ransacked. Hmm. Heavy lock, grabbing stink rat, gnawing them. Is it dark in here? It smells off. The stink rat's supposed to have a musky smell, and it does not. Heavy lock. Is it dark? Yeah, it, there's, there's, well, there's windows that are open. Uh, there's no, so there's natural light, but there's no, nothing like no one's been here to keep a like a candle burning or anything else. Everything else is okay. burned out. Nobody's been there and about. But you guys can make perception rolls. All right. <laughs> That's gonna go good. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> I love Shrevy like so much. <laughs> uh, 14. Okay, so, yeah. So, Shrevy like looks around. <laughs> Ryan, you're just, you're, your character is just, everything's bigger. It's not gnome sized. <laughs> and. I like actually get down to the ground, and I'm just staring at the ground. <laughs> Maybe there's footprints. <laughs> Please tell me that's exactly when we walk in. <laughs> um, sure, you will walk in watching him do that. Um, Mike, though, well. you looking around and you see since this was a uh, a logging facility at some point. Um, but you see several uh, piles of wood moving. Uh, where and because you made your perception, you get to roll initiative. Everyone else is going to be caught off guard as there are twig blights in this uh, biscuits. <laughs> uh, seven and let's see. I have they they actually go first. But you are a little bit prepared. You're not caught off on by surprise like everyone else is. Just because of delay and or looking at the floor. <laughs> and looking at Schmebulock. Yeah. Well basically <laughs> look, distraction. It's a player character. God dang it. <laughs> so, um <laughs> these uh little stick stick people. <laughs> basically they look to be tainted obviously oh i hear echo oh well anyway um uh they appear to be like looking like the tainted plants outside and everything hmm. so maybe there's magic in the water 
and there's enough for about two for everybody. So, um, and yeah. they're going to attack, you know, everyone's going to attack. And so I'm going to go with Mike first since you get to see what's going on. And I got a 19 and a 7. I don't think the 7 hit. <laughs> no. <laughs> if it did, I would cry for you. <laughs> no. The, yeah, the 19 hit. You take actually 4 damage from it. Okay. And then everyone else is surprised. So they don't get to go this round, but... <laughs> Zynar? Yes? I'm going to say... Because of story purposes, mm -hmm. and because I'm laying down on the ground looking at the ground, they get advantage on me. Okay, that makes sense. It makes sense. I'm just going. I'm going from right to left on the screen. So, um, the five I'm pretty sure doesn't hit, but does a nineteen hit our fighter? Me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm level three. My my AC is. Okay. You take five damage. Five damage? That's not fair. <laughs> and then, uh, since I get to roll advantage on... Oh, my God. On Shmebulok. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to help a whole lot. Oh, I got a nat 20. So, how about, how about a 10? Does a 10 get there? No. no I can so. Okay. But I got a... Um, Lucha, shh, don't. <laughs> but you take double damage. Oh, wow. You take eight points of damage. Oh, nothing. Reduced to six. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's nothing. And then our cleric. <laughs> Miss, unless your armor class is worse than ten. <laughs> no, almost, but not quite. Uh, With this group, you never know. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> not, it's not far off. It's not we far are, off. We are the B team, all right? So. <laughs> sure are. So, um, but our bugbear barbarian gets to go now. <clears throat> all right. Um, yeah, um, I'll use my great axe to attack. Awesome. Another seven. A seven is a miss. All right. Okay. Or, uh... I, all right. Oh, something else, or...? No, I'm good. Okay. Leave that there. Okay. So, now everyone else gets to roll initiative Ooh. for the next round. That's a 17 for me. And a 12 for me. And a 7 for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, our our, uh, our kitty cat friend is a little bit more fast, quick on their toes after being, um, you know, attacked by a stick. <laughs> <Crap>. <laughs> so, okay, you get to go. Haga! Swing my great axe! Uh, 21! Oh, that's definitely a hit. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible roll. Uh, five. <laughs> you still Damn it. chop it into kindling. Yaga! <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> No, Lucha does not, does not think the walking sticks are toys. Not Kitty does not play with great axe with toys. <laughs> I play with the shinies. <laughs> <laughs> now they get to go because they actually have a higher initiative. And I'm going to go back um, again, left to right. Or right to left, I mean. So I got an 18 on our bugbear. Is that a hit? Uh, 18, yeah. Okay. For three points of damage. Okay. And then our fighter friend only has one. I did roll a 19 to hit, though. For three points of damage. No. <laughs> 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 
Sure. Our gnome friend, who is no longer on the floor, most likely, a five and a one. <laughs> nope. And for our cleric, I got a a sixteen and a fourteen. Yeah, they both hit. Dope. Oh. <laughs> for three damage. <laughs> Okay. Yay! <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Our you, uh, Mike, you got a fourteen, right? An initiative. Me? No, yeah. I had a seven. Oh, you got a seven. Okay, so our twelve goes next. Then our cleric goes next. Cool. So they're wood, and that's gonna burn good. So I'm gonna sacred flame them. <laughs> Yay! Fire's Fine. been introduced. <laughs> Love yeah. it. So it's a deck save for 12. Yeah, no. It's not that good. Cool. So that is, well, great. Two points of damage. (laughs) Okay. Amazing. You're dealing us more damage. It's not fair. (laughs) I know. Um... Okay. Because it's vulnerable to fire, it lights... And it's basically just crumbles to the ground on fire. Oh, cool. <laughs> we all golf clap. <laughs> Everyone oh, stops. Thank you so much. And You're so does well. John. John golf claps too. Don't ask. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> um, now our bugbear friend gets to go. All right. I'd like the bo- <clears throat> bonus action rage. Awesome. Awesome. Bugbear's angry at sticks. <laughs> sticks are bad. <laughs> then I'll, I'll, I'll roar as I as I attack. Okay. What? Um, ten. Um, that's actually a miss. Ten is a miss. Er, wait, hold on one second. Okay. Oh, your right. stats changed. Thir- uh. 13. That's a hit. All right, I forgot to add my uh, my strength. There you go. Very important. Um All right, then tenth uh What? I rolled a 12 for damage? Yep. The toothpicks. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> um so that, yeah, that one is uh, in small little pieces with a nice, good swing of that axe. And now, Smevulok gets to go. Everybody's favorite here. All right, so let me get this right. So there's one left on Mike. There's one left on Nova. There's one left on our cleric. And two and on you. two on Shmebulok, right? Yes. Well, Shmebulok saw the, cl- saw the cleric get hit. And he just goes nuts. He flies into a rage. He grabs John, bolts away from the ones that are with him, and swings at the one on the player. So they they get attacks of opportunity. They do, indeed. And I can only capitalize on one. (laughs) Assuming I can hit armor class 15? Just barely. Okay. For two damage. Which would be zero. zero. All right. So I'm going to swing at the one with my uh, great axe on the one that's on the cleric. Oh, and don't forget, uh, there was a nat 20 uh, donated for uh, uh, Crit Charisma. You've got a nat 20 that's waiting for you. That was from earlier. And that is a dirty 20 right there. Well, yeah, that's you definitely hit it. (laughs) So that is going to be ten points of damage. It's also into small little bit kindling bits. Schmabulock! <laughs> um Thank you. Uh do I want to be nice or do I want to have fun? <laughs> have, have fun. fun. Always have fun. Always. So, have fun. so the the one you just chopped into bits lands on the burning one that's becoming ash. And it makes the fire a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Place to 
coming down around us. <laughs> <laughs> this is typical when, when we get together and when me and the other barbarian yeah. this is gonna burn down. <laughs> we'll burn it down. Yeah, you want the bonfire. There you go. Well, remember, this is also an old logging building, so everything is... There's lots kindling. of kindling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back to the top. Our tabaxi is going to play with the... No, just... <laughs> kill the other uh, opponent, I would assume. I yes, please. I kill you. Maybe. 14? That's a hit. Yay! 14 team? Three points of damage. Not <laughs> dead. <laughs> I, ro I rolled a one oh my on my D12. I have a great axe. I haven't rolled above a three on it. <laughs> I I think I have superiority already dice or something. Can I do something with these? I'm going to spend the superiority already dice. Okay. Um, because you rolled a, like a one, I'm going to have fun with it, is the fact that... Well, no, I, I rolled a hit. I just rolled a one on my D12. I know, but I'm saying, since oh. you rolled a one on your D12, I'm going to say that yes. the twig blight is stuck to your axe. Like, you chopped into it, and it's... <laughs> like, a, like a like a stick or a log would be. So it's, like, just stuck on your axe right now. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> I mean, you know, we got to have fun with this. <laughs> oh, yeah, um. absolutely. I'm for it. I'm for it. I uh, won't spend anything, and I'll just shake it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sitting there swinging at you. Obviously, can't do a whole lot because it's at the end of your axe. <laughs> um, but you are standing by the cleric, so I need you to make a quick dex check. Me? Yes. Okay. Just a dex check? Yeah, just a dex check. 14? Okay. And just kidding. Well, you're just swinging it around. You're not quite paying attention to what you're doing. But you're not doing it in a way where it's, yeah, you're getting into anyone else's way. But I wanted to see if you were going to roll bad and maybe catch it on fire with, <laughs> from the other ones that are now sitting there on fire by you. <laughs> Make it even more tantalizing for me? Because <laughs> that would just been funnier. So <laughs> Okay. So, um... <laughs> the, 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 uh, how many, how many, I got to figure out how many we got left. We got, what, three left? Well, there were, there were two left on Shmebulok. Mm -hmm. There's none left on me. There's none left on Nova now. Well, I had technically one is still alive that's, like, on my... Yeah. And I think, Mike, yours are dead as well, are they? I, I don't know. I think you've got it's one. Two yeah. and a half. Two and a half. So, the other two are then... Let's see. Will they move closer to the singular barbarian or the crowd? Well, there's fire by the crowd. They don't want anything to do with that at all. And in any way, shape, or form, they're going to stay away from that fire. They're going to try to pu uh, push past the bugbear. And uh, they're going to move and attempt to attack. I see that attempt, definitely. 13? <laughs> On who? Sorry. Does that hit our bugbear? 13 hits, I think. Okay, so, yeah, tree branch scratches, nothing big. <laughs> but they don't want to be anywhere near the fire. No, not at all. Nope, nope, no, nope. fire bad. What's our cleric going to do now? Your cleric is torn between two things. <laughs> Putting out the water or starting another fire. Um... <laughs> More fire. Yes. Always, yes. always the answer. Yeah. I'll, I'll shoot another um, sacred flame out. <laughs> awesome. This group is not subtle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> weird enough, I've just been to a bonfire earlier today, so. Perfect. My, you were yeah. preparing. <laughs> yes, I was doing research. <laughs> okay, I can make a dex check. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> so much damage. Um, well, it's two again. Look at that. Okay. Well, it's enough to light it on fire and it just falls to the ground burning. <laughs> so we're down to one left. Uh, well, besides the one at the end of the hacks. <laughs> I was like, is that the one that's one on half. the No, like... so that's, that's the half one. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, you got one more to chop down right by you? All right.
Oh, uh, I missed three. Okay, we well, were. Just, I mean, so you're surprised by the fire all of a sudden. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, <laughs> and you swing. Your swing goes a little wide, and we're back Bye. to. <laughs> We're back to the top of the order, um, which is the fighter that has a twig blight stuck to their great axe. I, can I try to slam my axe with it on into the last one that's still alive? Yeah, absolutely you can. <laughs> and try to hit both of them? Sure! Okay. I'm going to attack this stick with another stick. 22. That's definitely a hit. That's much better. 13 points of damage. Okay, so you basically just come on down and cleave through the first one still and smash the other one into bits. Which, again, adds to the fire that's right next to it. As I just stare to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah! Shmabulok comes up and, like, taps John on, on your great axe. Shmabulok. <laughs> And we, like, high-five with our axes? Yeah. Think. <laughs> That's awesome. And she'll just go, Shmebulok. <laughs> Shmebulok! <laughs> Shmebulok! <laughs> Always bond in battle. Oh, this place is on fire. Oh, Yeah! <laughs> Hmm. Is it like a small fire still? Can we put it out with our feet? I'll um, just start stomping on the fire. <laughs> you don't want to stomp on the fire? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um. Well, let's see here. The uh, the flame is spreading a little bit faster than you expected. <laughs> and it might be from the... Uh, the perfume smell that you're getting from the the fur and stuff, the pelts, but it's like an oily substance as well that appears to be somewhat flammable. Oh no. Okay. Lock runs uh -huh. up to one of the closest fire. He goes to like pat it and feels the heat. He's like, ow, ow. Oh, yeah. And starts that... like blowing on it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> How far is the house away from uh, the water? Oh, it's right next to the river. It's got a water wheel and everything. Okay. No, no water. It's oily stuff. Well, that that was coming from the actual stink rats that were being uh, harvested. I think she was telling us that we water not, on oil yeah. spread fire. Not, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like a good burning river? <laughs> 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 I mean sounds like fun <laughs> maybe we could just burn the pollution out of it that sounds like a plan right That it's like boiling water right you boil water and purify it yeah. sounds great I'm going to start pushing the uh, the rat skins in... no I'm not I'm wow um are there any buckets? Like, can we try to see if we save this, or is this a lost cause and we just move on and we never talk about this? Shmabulok <laughs> <laughs> like grabs a hold of the cleric by her cloak and starts dragging her towards the door. I like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that's your right, we should just leave, because, you know, I think, yeah. I like how you're like, continue. is there a bucket or should we just walk away? You're like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Like, do we try to solve this problem, or do we no. just pretend like it never happened? It wasn't us. It wasn't us. Okay. Looks at Shmebby Lock. Shmebby Lock. It wasn't us, right? Shmebby Lock. Fine. Rocket. Wasn't us. No. <laughs> We're heroes, guys. We don't burn down buildings. We have insurance companies for that. <laughs> wow. That is a very, um... Acquisitions Inc. idea of selling adventurers insurance <laughs> to cities and towns. All I can think of is all the superheroes getting sued for essentially destroying every city that they walk through. <laughs> huh. Okay. okay. 
So, so like badasses were just walking away from this burning house. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're back. Back. <laughs> and you know what? Because there are uh, uh, still some skins for because so what had happened in a previous adventure is that the stink rats were being used to make perfume, which is oily and flammable. So uh, because there's still some some containers of that in there, of, as you're walking away, they explode <laughs> for dramatic effect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even look back. <laughs> no, we we'll just keep walking. The tail flicking yeah. in the sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> so, and there are burning bits of the, uh, uh, of this, like, of, like, the water wheel going down the river a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Actually, I'm going to say that just the wheel itself is just rolling down the river and on fire a bit. So, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yep, it's them again. <laughs> I feel like this has our signature all over it. <laughs> um, I mean, what game doesn't isn't better with a burning wheel of fire? <laughs> like, all I could think of is a windmill of corpses. <laughs> you know what? That's I, I'm gonna have to include that in the next one. <laughs> it's, it's uh. like the Cards Against Humanity card, windmill of corpses. Okay. So, um, here, we, here we are. Uh, <laughs> um, definitely uh, not setting things on fire. Definitely not <laughs> doing. Can't bad. prove it. We burned all the evidence. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dead wheels tell no tales. Yes, <laughs> definitely, Chad. Um. <clears throat> well, this was related potentially to what was going on, but yep. may not be directly uh, attributed to what was going on. Any clue that was in that? <clears throat> well, you can't go back and look now. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been an idea before running out and just like, let it burn. <laughs> I mean, I was like, do we bucket this or do we just bucket this? <laughs> Ah, uh, just bucket. <laughs> yeah, it, isn't just the bucket. it isn't the Schmebulock is stupid enough not to know this. It's just he doesn't. <laughs> oh, my face hurts. <sighs> okay. So, um, we move on. <laughs> up river you go. <laughs> we didn't do it. Do oh, do no. do. <laughs> We're never going to find out the source. We probably just made it worse. <laughs> we made it airborne. Well, <laughs> we did. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so you know, for future reference, the next one shot I run in this adventure will no longer have a logging building. <laughs> <laughs> Up the river. You've learned your lesson, finally. <laughs> you know... No, it just means you're going to have... you Whatever you guys do, you have an impact on future games. <laughs> Not a great one. Not a great one. They can't know it's you. <laughs> just remember that. It's full of nasty stink monsters, so, you know, it's better that it's gone. It's okay. Purify it with fire and move on with yeah. your life. Put it on a t-shirt. Boom, sell it. Purify Merch with fire it. and move on. Got it. Yep. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so you are um, <laughs> moving up the, uh, moving up the stream, and it's getting to more like mountainous mountainous territory. So, because there is, of course, a mountain on this island, because a scenic tourist spot wouldn't have would, of course, have a mountain of some kind. I'd have something to take pictures from. Yeah, down with logging. Yes, yeah, down, down with the 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 wood required to build buildings and stuff. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> um. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, um. So as you're moving up, <laughs> you're moving up the uh, the banks. You've noticed that the the withering effect is getting a lot worse. And and worse. So as the further you go upstream, look 
looks like we're getting closer. I feel like we probably missed something back at that logging place, but you know. Well, be lock. What yeah. logging place? What's in the past is ash, you know. Place. What you're talking about? Yeah. Never know. Right. <laughs> what logging <laughs> place? I got you. Winks the one green eye. <laughs> and points at the tail. Got it. <laughs> what logging place? Yeah, it does seem to be getting worse. I wonder if there's another logging place. <laughs> Shmabby lock. <Yeah. laughs> no, I don't. Well, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yes, Lucha. The last 80 minutes simply didn't happen. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> they've just, they've just, they flashed us like an MIB. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Is there anything, like, do we see anything in the distance? Um. Well, there's a beautiful uh, waterfall that the river looks like it's coming from up, okay. uh, up on the mountain itself. But at the top of the waterfall, does it look? Um, are there any vegetation? No, the uh, it's so rocky up there. Nothing is appearing to be growing up there. What about at the bottom, like we're near where we're at? Is there any vegetation? Well, um, so as you are moving up, like the vegetation's like I said, still there. It's just much more withered in effect. It's almost like it's now. It looks like it's dying. Everything is dying. So, I know that in waterfalls, the the light refracts off the the water to make it look like a rainbow. But does there at the bottom look like there's an oily sheen? Um, no, actually, it doesn't look like there's an oily sheen. You may have to do some climbing. Oh, but as you're down here, though, you do see this strange clockwork like automaton that is broken mm. on the ground. Broken? As in not moving? Yeah. There's an automaton. It's or broken. some sort of construct oh or whatever, you're not sure. Okay. Are there, like, any other like pieces nearby laying around? Um... No, it's like there's, uh, it's just, uh, it I actually looked like it may have fallen because it's just that kind of broken. So like limbs and everything are not how they should be. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. Bent in ways that shouldn't be bent and. Got it. Um, how high up is the wall scalable? Oh, yeah. Especially for Tabaxi's got a climbing speed. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> I've never had it. I finally looked at the racial traits and I was like, I have a climbing speed. <laughs> never played a Tabaxi, folks. Uh, how high up is it? Oh, it's maybe a couple hundred feet. Oh. <laughs> so, like, instant death. If one were to fall off. Only from the top. <laughs> well, I think I know how this automaton died. <laughs> oh, actually, it's it's further away from, like, if, if it if it actually fell from up there, it had to have, like, jumped out. Oh. Or was thrown out? Uh, that could be. Could have been thrown. <laughs> if something through this, that is something I don't want to deal with. <laughs> And I'm out. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ship's not here either. Either there's that ship's gone. <laughs> oh no! I can't really tell if there's anything behind the waterfall, like if there's a cave or anything, or if it's just like a rock. Make wall. an make an investigation check. All right. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. As you're um, checking back there, um, uh, it looks, from what you can tell, without really just diving through and searching everywhere, it just it looks like it's the waterfall 
um, is right off the rock. There's nothing behind it or anything. Uh, nothing out of place, really. Okay. Looks very natural. Ebulok starts climbing. <laughs> oh no, okay. Yeah, if it like outcrops like every every so often where you can stop and, you know, throw down a rope or something. Yeah, sure. Um, There's spots that you can kind of stop and drop a rope. I have rope. Well, I have rope. Good. Let's all tie how rope. How much rope do you have? have? Still climbing. <laughs> can you just wait? Make a second? climb check. I have 50 feet. Oh, athletics? Oh, athletics, yeah. Athletics check. That is a 19. Okay. Well, uh, I, I should have said, yeah, athletics. I mean, you could technically do acrobatics, too, if you want to just hop up from spot to spot to spot, if you want to go crazy like that. But, yeah, no. <laughs> All strength, baby. <laughs> My athletics is a 24. Okay, so... If you... <laughs> climbing. Just... The barbarians are free climbing. No problem. They're just going... <laughs> If you have a climbing speed, do you have to roll? Well, it's like moving through uh, difficult terrain. So no, I... you don't really have to roll unless you're going to do something beyond normal. Got it. So if I just went and moving 20 feet at a time, how how long would it take me to race them to the top? <laughs> race them? <laughs> well, okay. So for... Um... No, Lucha, they're not going to rage climb. Well, maybe they will. I don't know. It depends on how angry they get. Uh, uh, well, you're definitely faster than the gnome climbing. <laughs> because the just, gnome doesn't have the reach. <laughs> I'll just take my time and just be there just in case one of them... And I'll, like, scar them, you know? Like, I'll make sure they don't fall. Got it. Not actually let go of them. What about your cleric friend who's just watching everybody climb up? <laughs> I was going to tie a rope to Doxy okay. and one to me so that like I would go up and then I would pull her up if she didn't want to try and climb or if she wanted an assist. Well, I, can, I, try, got... I can try to assist with climbing, okay. but, you know, with my strength of seven, I probably won't. So do you want Do you want to? Myself. You're just like, carry me. I'll try. No, no, <laughs> okay. I'll try. I'm not like, you know. Maybe I'll get to the first leg. Or, or 50 feet up, and he takes his climbing gear and pines in a ties off his rope, throws it down. Shmabulot! Cool. And he's telling you to tie it. Because he doesn't want you climbing at all. Oh. Okay. I'll do and it. He's, he's going to pull you. Cool. To the next ledge. <clears throat> Awesome. So uh, I see everyone's good and just continue climbing. Yep. Just keep climbing up. You keep climbing up. I look do you, really do we cool. need to make any more? Uh, no. Nah. Need another check? checks. Okay. No, you guys have you guys have an actual uh, plan and you got a good feel. So yeah, you just pull you know, pull your cleric up. I try to make Stay sure I'm here. the first one up. Okay. Uh. Uh-uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, it's become a game now. <laughs> nope. Uh -oh. Let's do this. <laughs> if this is how I go, this is how I go. But I did say I have a rope tied to me, so. Okay, but so you have a rope tied to you. Are you still, um, you still have it tied to the cleric? So you're like the safety, or no? Uh, to Doxy. Oh, I'm trying to see how no, much I think, my... I think once once Shmevulok threw down his rope, I'd probably go down to his. And... Yeah. Well, Shmevulok's going to pull you up. Yeah, so... I don't know if, do, if if you're I'm tied to uh, if you're tied to the Tabaxi as a as a safety or not. No, not anymore. Okay. Nope. I'll trust him completely. It's fine. <laughs> I I was I was trying to think if my my wisdom would would which I I tied to pride. <laughs> and I have a negative at modifier, so my pride is through the roof. Wow. <laughs> I probably lost the rope. <laughs> I was like, no, no way. A barbarian's not going to beat a cat at climbing. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Oh, no. 
Okay, so, um... Yes, Luca, we see the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no one's looking back, Lucha. <laughs> that was the whole thing. There's no looking back. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we having a competition? Because then, yes, both of you will have to make new athletics checks as you are racing towards the top. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to pick one of my dice. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Because the better the rolls, the more uh, progress you make. Of course, the tabaxi does have an advantage to this. I... Do I have I have advantage? Well, because well, you, you have, have a climbing speed. You I actually do. can climb. So that's... Remember, folks, this, this race is brought to you by one drop. Flint. Yes. <laughs> Donate to see who wins. Yes. So we're we're just trying to see. You're literally risking your lives to race to the top. <laughs> I know. I'm debating whether I want to. It's a game. I want to use that natural twenty. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a. Mine would have been a sixteen. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, the 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 pride is strong in the tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> like nope <laughs> you will not beat me i don't care how strong or big you are it makes no difference i am a, i will win <laughs> i am cat hear me meow <laughs> i'm like doing flips and stuff you know i'm like yeah man <laughs> that's my tail <laughs> so you get to the top the mouth of the waterfall you know Obviously, it comes out of a cave because why not? Um, and at the, wait, and at you the look top, down. Can we smell the water? See well, if it's... you're not quite there yet. But at the top, as you turn to, because you know, you're not gonna look in the cave, you're gonna gloat. I am gonna gloat. <laughs> sure am, sure am. And with the passive perception of eleven, I ain't gonna see nothing. <laughs> you're just gonna sure. go to the top and gloat. Like, yep. I got here first. Yeah. <laughs> eh, I beat you, muscle man. Are <laughs> right, you gonna see me trying to catch my breath uh, as I'm playing, playing at the top? I'm like aristocrating it, like aristocrating oh, it, you know, like everybody. <laughs> oh, can't wait to be flung off of this, <laughs> which I think is about to happen. With no safety uh, rope. Like, no safety rope. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, was a good race. Flung or yeet. I'm not sure which is the proper word. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not going to be yeeted off. Um, <sighs> but because there has been time, uh, the, the our last two party members are pulling or, you know, getting to the top and you hear, do hear something behind you. Finally, <laughs> And as you're uh, from climbing, you know, our bugbear friend also looks up and you do see, man, everyone wants a mimic in this. I don't know why. <laughs> Everybody wants mimic everything. I know. But you can't just have a mimic like that. Like I put mimics in places that nobody wants to have. Like the toilet is a mimic. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I never, I, had... I... Can't get that scene out of my head. The hearth is a mimic, you know, that kind of stuff. I had a whole room mimic. <laughs> you know, I, my thing is, as mimics eat more, they get bigger and they turn into other things that are bigger. So, mm -hmm. that's what I would do. <laughs> but it's not a mimic. But there are skeletons with spears. Huzzah! <laughs> They're. Moving a little more haphazard than you uh, expect. They're kind of slow. Maybe they're affected by the water, too. How far away are they from us? Do we even notice this? Oh, they got close enough that they can attack you next round. <laughs> 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 I made it! I made it! <laughs> <laughs> and they're even moving slow. <laughs> I should have... I feel like this should be a... a, a a fulfilling lesson to me, but I'm just not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
can we at least warn the people who are climbing? They're skeletons! And oh, yeah. It. Okay. And prepare for battle? You can prepare for battle. They're, they they can't really sneak up on you. They're not that good. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but you can Got roll it. initiative. Oh, huzzah! Ooh. Okay. Six. <clears throat> 22. <laughs> Seven? Yes. Six, seven, and 22 so far? Yeah, I rolled a natural 19. Oh, what'd you get? But I mean, it's fair. We're not Mike. out there yet. So, you know. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh. Okay. Really out of breath. So, Pencil. Yeah, Pencil well, no, out of breath. More like laughing at the fact that, you know, the, the, the one that got to the top, you know, didn't even notice the skeletons. You're kind of chuckling at it more than <laughs> you're just like, ha, ah, that's what you get for being first. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're going to get hit first. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Well, our tabaxi fighter does go first at a t- with such a good roll. Listen, I don't have good at tackles, so we'll find out. <laughs> you go. I will rush up heat with great X. Um, 18. That's definitely hit. Oh my god, where did all of my D12s go? Mm-hmm. Uh, for 12 points of damage. Oh, it shatters into bits. Oh. Um, and, yeah, just small little pieces. You just chop through it, and it's like, it's like whatever was holding it together was like string, and it just fell apart. Like, that good. So... You guys stay down there. We'll figure this out. <laughs> well, actually, they get to go next. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> the cl- no, the cleric gets to go next. Oh. <laughs> um, how far away are they in relation of me? Uh, probably about fif- 15 feet. Sure. Then I'll tell Divinity turn undead. Are they undead? They are undead. Yes, yeah, the skeletons, of course, they're undead. So, uh, uh, safety C is 12 again. Um, let's see. Oh, hang on. They have to, oh, well, they can hear me. They don't, do they have to see and hear me? No, or. Okay. So, when you do that, they pause briefly, and that's about it. They keep moving. Did anything happen to those things? Right now. What? They're still standing. <laughs> I was asking you if something happened to those creatures after. Just right now. If they moved differently, if they moved away, or if they stayed, or what they did. They still coming! <laughs> okay. These and Shmebulok gets to go next. <sighs> Shmebulok wants to grab one and throw it off the cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeet a skeleton. Proposed, proposed oh, athletics yeah. check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Roll to yeet. That is a 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you just throw it like a rag doll. <laughs> right out. Nothing. Maybe a lot. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I see this little three foot tall gnome just grab this you know five to six foot tall skeleton and just by his foot he grabs him by his leg and just like slings him off the <laughs> side of the cliff do we hear it clattering in the wind <laughs> oh, a little bit but you know there's not much to catch so it just keeps falling <laughs> um yeah, that's one gone. <laughs> two oh, gone, actually. Two. I got yeah, one. Two. Well, one was broken. This other one's gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> one <Deuces>. gone. <laughs> Somebody's um, walking through the forest, and yeah. all of a sudden, the skeleton falls on their head. <laughs> We're lighting things on fire. We're disturbing the peace with skeletons flying in the air. <laughs> We're an HR nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that'd be so... I mean, 
Acquisitions Inc. is very corporate based and just everything would be so much just like the like an adventuring guild like you know you guys walk back in they're like you guys are a PR nightmare our insurance <laughs> rates are through the roof <laughs> You all have to go back for sensitivity We're training. Sensitivity training. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> we get our frequent flyer miles for the anger management course. <laughs> skeleton <laughs> Yes. No, it's a skeleton portability training. I'm like, where how? <laughs> where can it go? How far can Skeletons it go? Skeletons are. No. <laughs> Hollow. Mind. They have no feeling. <laughs> They're empty. <laughs> um, Hollow. Okay. Um, they get to go. There's three left. There's one. For, there was. Uh, there were five of them. So there's. They get to go now, and I've got two in combat range. So I'm gonna go. Eh, who do I want to hit more? Well, <laughs> let's see. Um. Heavy lock. Okay, so Smebby Lock's gonna be swung at twice. Our Tabaxi's gonna be swung at once. We'll do the Tabaxi first. Armor class 15. No! Okay, misses. Smebby Lock, armor class. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, no, it, no, it definitely misses, but I want to spend a superiority die to use my reaction to hit it. Okay. With, um,. A thing. I have a thing. With a thing. I have a. I have a thing. Uh, Your tail. I can spend. I <laughs> no. I can spend a superiority die to repost. Oh, okay. Post. Oh, yes. Yes. So I'm gonna try and hit it. You should try and make him like swing oh, through and fall off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I rolled one off the table and then rolled one to the point where we got cocked. So we're good. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Awesome. Okay, that's a good hit. Uh, for five points of damage. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> uh, awesome. I gotta check something here real quick. <laughs> I love how my characters in this weekend one went from uh, convincing everybody that. Oh. I have to, to add chucking this, skeletons off the. Add another two to that because I also have to use the superiority die to add to the damage. So okay. That is seven points of damage total then. Um, uh, it breaks apart. Like, again, it's almost like you broke the string that was holding it together. Um, playing whack a mole, y'all. <laughs> and she might be like, do I, uh, does a twelve hit him? No. Okay, I didn't think so. And that was a nat one. So, <laughs> so the skeleton, the one skeleton, gets tangled in the other skeleton, trying to attack. I was hoping he'd miss and fall. <laughs> no, because you, he'd have to pass you completely, and they don't move that fast. <laughs> um, and uh, our uh, bugbear friend gets to go. You said the other skeleton is tangled in two of the other skeleton? Yes. So if I wanted to copy what uh, Smelly Lock did and throw the skeleton off the cliff, would I be throwing both of them? Yes, you would. All right, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> okay. As... Make an athletics check. <laughs> this yes. is the greatest party ever. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. Um... <laughs> so after this epic failure of like he basically like stuck his spear in through the ribs of the other one kind of like you know got tangled in and yep gets yeeted right out the side <laughs> does it make a cool whistling sound yeah yeah I like to aim for the water down below okay um we got a donation uh, yeah, we did. a very nice donation um and uh, <laughs> as you uh, turn around, oh no, <laughs> there's a minotaur. <laughs> no, um, you are no longer in the cave. 
that you were before. As there is a swirling sensation and you appear in a hallway now. Shmebulok! I know, I know, I know. What? Oh, I immediately God. just sit down and cover my eyes. <laughs> yes. Is the place on fire wherever we are? Not yet. You guys can still do that. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> uh-huh. I was just making sure we weren't paying penance. <laughs> no, we have a donation for Multiverse. So it is now a new place, a new goal, a new everything. Oh my gosh. Um... We <laughs> we are uh, over half about over halfway through. Um, do you guys want to take a break? Yeah, that way you can prepare. Them. Oh, I'm I'm good. I just want to know if you guys want to take a break. I wouldn't my mind a bio break. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna, <laughs> so thank you, chat. We're gonna thank thank you, Mountain Girl, for the donation. We're gonna um take a a quick break. So. <laughs> They can set new things Nana on fire. Nana gave us. Nana gave us. Yeah, no, yeah. Don't forget that. <laughs> You're never gonna see <laughs> Nana again now. <gasps> no! Nana, my cabinet but, brownies. But no one can blame you for the fire, because <laughs> you won't well, be there. <laughs> that's true. 